I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. Seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. <coughs> Uncle yeah, Artyom, well, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> job job Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Artyom! Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? You must be very lucky to make it halfway there. No, I left the order, no and now nobody gets inside. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see you, all right. This calls for a celebration. 
few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, you are you the nurse of the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, Previous, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like <laughs> so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. fantasies in a silent world. Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice, if you learned, we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? It's a pack, just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. 
I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. We sure gave them hell. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. But we take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get up there. Shit! Come up now. I got you! Did you hear that, Justin? Something large, roaring. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or hear! Let's switch to radios! What the? Artyom, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit! What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train, too! Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing on there? We sure did! Come on, get in! You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Fool, who couldn't live. 
Let's go. Watchmen broke through. Oh, workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the open. If anything comes through, shoot. <laughs> What's a noise? Attention! The turntable is switching off. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again, okay?
to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we are both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. that door. 
Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Let's go. Come. Hey! Go through. Hey! Come on. Good luck to you. This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment. I will, of course, do it again, but... It's sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on operate Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, and then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had. Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey, be careful. What's going on? Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Asyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Asyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. I think I'm looking for going to pull out the phone. 
us for drug like duty. And since we sent you, they gave us what was left. That's all. Well, that was better than being a drug This was the garbage. So what? You can still shoot.
won't let us get away. We have to do something about it. Your man, the place is crawling with guns. They must be dealt with. Do something about the guards, please! Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Kim. the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Table on. Oh, look! Oh, look! Who's the hanger? I see him! The enemy is behind us! Are you okay? 
together. Legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll Jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. It's it's not not us. Us. Ooh. 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 All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the air. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Just a war! 
warning, if you do not comply, we will shoot to kill! Happy now? Is this what you are voting for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, just uh, 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 But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Your mind starts slowing down. Let them think we are sorry. Ah, finally some good sense! Now, keep breaking your okay. stop! Well, grenades will barely scratch the paint, so... Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he's starting to talk and he better do something about it. Uh, leave over as soon as we slow down. I will distract you in the meantime. Is that you, Yakov? Yes, so cut this shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. I just go to town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just open fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to my trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me. Where are you taking that train, huh? Of a simple joyride? No. I'm the only one after you've been told that you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Keep your radio on, Archon. You will need to be our eyes and ears in there. They think they are preparing to storm us, so they will be transmitting orders to their PA. We will try to buy you some time and provide cover if they open up this one. You get the idea. You had better handle this quietly. Good luck. <laughs> Hold on! 
We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Attention! Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow. Wait a moment, what was that? Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cops. Proceed to the rally point. Listen, everyone! The rally point location is code 1-8-1-1-7-9. Area 18-5. Right. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. The rally point location to... is code 1-1-1-7-9. So it is somewhere nine. around Area one, the Yamantown Mountain. Dash so the route from here should go uh, Shall we overcome like this. Any this and is our goal. goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. 
It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time! Let's go where I'm and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, uh, full steam ahead. Hi. Full uh, steam ahead. Uh, wow, oh, that's yeah, some distance. I wonder how long it will take. I was I was expecting an arrow from a kid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life. The life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the brakes! Fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Mohan, report to the bridge! On the double! Okay, you should probably get to the bridge!
Are you all right, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with Artyom too. As backup. No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Let's go, Artyom. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the Artyom. Artyom. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Sir. It's a new model. A portable yes. workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled.
father, Salantius, had already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your... from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. saw where he went. Well, he just couldn't <laughs> vanish.
What's going on? Oh, I don't feel right. Oh, my God. This is a punishment for our sins. It's all for our sins. For we have sinned gravely. Oh, Lord. Save us and have mercy. Oh, Lord. My luck was rotten. The fish didn't protect me, though I'm still alive. Without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. 
I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Artyom, back from the abyss of You're NATO alive. occupation. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artem, a moment. Thank you, Artem. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artem. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're Come done over here, please. Great job you. saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau, from the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Damn. What do I even do about <laughs> this? Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there.
So, Artyom, are you going to the port? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just... We no all locked out with Anna. She's a total bad eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs>
here. You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blit. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers are never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, Blit. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Krist, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Opened fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east, now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running, Mili. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Bli. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Thank <laughs> you. 